how to get a professional chroma key shot at home, how to cut out a color background on a video so that the result doesn't look like this, but rather like this. Hi everybody, my name is Roman and you're watching the Movavi Vlog, your go-to channel for creating cool videos. And in the next 10 minutes, you will learn 10 most essential tips for perfect chroma key at home. You don't need a professional studio or expensive gear to do that. You just need some home stuff and an amateur camera. Oh, and Movavi Video Editor, of course. So hurry up and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and ring that bell so I can continue. And here we go. Before I move on to the first tip, let's make it clear about what chroma key is and how this technology works in general. Well, video makers call chroma key a monochrome material, usually green, which can be used to remove the background and replace it with another footage or image using a video editing program. The most important thing when working with a chroma key is that there must be a significant difference in color between the background and the subject. Therefore, a chroma key can actually be of any shade. The main thing is that it must be as bright, consistent and vivid as possible. In addition to green, a blue chroma key is often found. Now that you understand the principle, it's time to move on to my list of tips. Tip number one. Choose your chroma key type correctly. Let's figure out what the types are. One of them is a fabric chroma key. A big advantage of such, it's lightweight and compact. It's very easy to store in a closet or carry to the location of filming. But there's a huge disadvantage. It gets crumbled. Why is it bad? The answer is simple. When a piece of fabric is crumbled, it creates creases and unwanted shadows. It's not just ugly. Later, while editing, you will see that the background color has become uneven and distinctly changes from light green to very dark. As a result, you can't accurately remove the background. By contradiction, probably the perfect solution is a hard background that doesn't wrinkle and bend. For example, in movies and professional video production, they use solid panels in green or blue color. Or you can just paint the wall. Why not? However, both options are quite complicated if you're a regular YouTube creator and don't have a studio. Perhaps the best thing is to buy a folding two-way background like this one. Such a chroma key would fit into a beginner blogger's budget. It easily folds into a small bag and never wrinkles. Even if you don't have a dime for a chroma key, that's not a problem. I told you I would show you a budget solution. Now I'm gonna tell you how to use a simple green blanket as an alternative. Just follow all my recommendations carefully and it will work. Tip number two, set up the chroma key properly. In order to fix a flexible chroma key, for example, a fabric one, you need a special crossbar made of two studio racks. But if you don't have any at home, the most common IKEA closing rack may work. At this stage, the most important thing is to fix the background firmly and create tension so that there are no creases on the surface. In my example, I'm pretty close to the camera, so all I have to do is sit on a chair and put a clothes rack behind me and throw a green blanket over it. It's dense enough to create tension just by its weight. Tip number three. Choose and set up the correct lighting. There are typical and many times tested light schemes that are best suited for chroma key shots. Depending on the scheme you choose, you will need two, three, four or five light sources. In my case, I use three. But you can really do it even with two sources. The main thing is to understand the task that any of these schemes seeks to solve. It's very important to illuminate the background evenly. The light should lie on the surface of the background so that there are no gradients, overexposed or underexposed parts. The brighter and more evenly your background is illuminated, the easier it will be for you to replace it on post-production. Please pay special attention to this stage. It's also worth stepping away from the background to avoid casting a shadow on it. It will also help create additional volume in the frame. Tip number four. Set the camera to manual mode. You will absolutely not be able to shoot chroma key in auto mode. 
So if you don't know how to use the manual settings of your camera yet, please be sure to watch one of our previous episodes. For example, in this one, we have explained all the settings, making it as easy as possible. By the way, it's not difficult at all, just try it. But let's get back to chroma key. Once you switch your camera to manual mode, turn off autofocus. Why? If the camera shifts focus from you to the background for one second, the keying will be unpredictable. Believe me, you won't like the result. For accurate keying, you need the most stable picture you can achieve, so adjust all the settings yourself. Do not trust the automatics of your camera. Tip number five, use a closed aperture. I really have to tell you more about the manual settings, guys, because it's not just the stability of the picture that's important. Chroma key requires quite specific settings. Oddly enough, it's better to use a closed aperture. I recommend choosing an f5.6 or smaller. Many will say, but what about the volume effect and the background blurring and bokeh and stuff? Well, in case of chroma key, beautiful bokeh will only prevent the video editing software from identifying and replacing the color and putting the new background. I will tell you about creating volume within a frame using bokeh in the tip number 10. So watch this video carefully to the very end. And I shall continue. Tip number six, use a faster shutter speed. Again, the tip that relates to camera settings. And it's even less obvious than the previous ones. If you're shooting at 30 or 24, 25 FPS, you're likely to set the shutter speed to 30, 50 or 60. So in the case of chroma key, it's better to set the faster shutter speed about 100 or even 200. This way, the picture will be less blurry when you move your head, hands and so on. Why does it matter? Blurring will hinder the software from separating you from the background. So a fast shutter speed will give you clearer frames and more accurate chroma key. Tip number seven, don't wave your hands too hard. Okay, you've chosen a very fast shutter speed, but don't wave too hard anyway. Otherwise, after rendering, you will get this. Tips are getting shorter and shorter and we're already approaching to the end of my list. So it's time to remind you, please be sure to click the subscription button and ring the bell. This way you will help the mobile vlog channel grow, more people will learn about the channel and we'll be able to make more useful videos for you. And don't forget about the likes of course. Tip number eight, pick up the right claws and hairdo. I bet you haven't thought about it. Well, you should have. Do not wear clothes in green tones if you're filming against a green background, because they will be cut out along with the background and the final video will look like a horror movie with a flying hat. On the other hand, maybe this is the effect you're trying to achieve. Tip number nine. Make use of all features and settings of the video editor. You should only go through the step when you have taken into account all my previous recommendations. This is the only way you will have your footage good enough for keying. Let's launch Movavi Video Editor. You might be familiar with its chroma key feature. Here it is. All you have to do is choose the background color with a picker and voila. Now, instead of the green background, you can see the video or image that lie on the timeline under our footage. Most people stop at this stage, but we want the best possible result. So do not be lazy and try to tweak all the possible settings. I cannot give you any magical settings that are good for all because they simply don't exist. Everything is very individual and depends on the shooting conditions. Take the time to find the settings that best fit your project and you'll get the best result possible. Tip number 10. Apply the blur effect on the footage with a new background. At last, I have prepared a tip that isn't obvious at all. Remember I said it's better to use a closed aperture to get rid of the bokeh on a green background and get a clearer chroma key? We'll now add the blur effect to our new background in the editing phase. This way, you will make up for the lost volume within a frame and visually separate the object from the background. Do not hurry to apply the effect and immediately export your video. Open the effect settings and get the amount of blur you need. That's it for today. Those were the 10 most important tips for the perfect chroma key at home. Give a huge like into this video if it was useful for you. Subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell, of course. 
My name is Roman, this was the Mobile Vlog, I'll see you very soon.